you are going to learn how to use a graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder is a thin glass or plastic tube used to measure the volume of liquids. Much like a ruler is used to measure length, it has similar markings. When choosing a graduated cylinder, you want to make sure you have one that is an appropriate size and material for the liquid you are measuring. When measuring a liquid, it is a pretty simple process, but certain steps must be taken to ensure our readings are accurate and we have a safe working environment. The first step of measuring is to place a graduated cylinder on a flat surface. The second step is to steady the tube with one hand while pouring the liquid you are measuring into with the other hand. Then you want to do this slowly to avoid any spills or messes. The third step is to view the cylinder at eye level to take your reading. The fourth step is to take the liquid measurement at the very bottom of the dip in the surface of the liquid. This dip is called the meniscus. It forms because the liquid molecules are more attracted to the glass or plastic than they are to each other. So look at the horizontal lines on the side of the cylinder and then find which line the meniscus is closest to. Then determine the increments of measurement on the tube. For example, if the area between the 60 millimeter mark and the 70 millimeter mark is divided into 10 segments, each segment represents one millimeter. Locate the closest whole measurement below the surface of the liquid and then count the number of segments up to the line nearest the meniscus. Make sure you record your measurement at the lowest point of the meniscus curve. And congratulations, you have successfully measured using a graduated cylinder.